Hey guys, this is Steve from BD Snare 215, and uh, me and Tyler want to send on our personal thanks to uh, all the fans out there. The feedback's getting us this cool stuff, and we like new stuff, so keep watching the videos. So, uh, uh, Tyler's got this hot new pad from uh, Thanks Wild Hunts Percussion. It's really nice. Uh, I just got this hot pad from Vodder Perk, and it's a beautiful stand we got from Awful Perk. All this stuff is slightly used, but guess what? We're not complaining because it's free. Uh, so keep watching our videos, keep coming in, hop with the views because we want more stuff. So anyway, Craig Smith was looking at some videos he showed me. He was looking at these drum cores, I don't even know what their names are, but really big playing book reports and sprees and stuff. They sound sort of like this. Listen to it, it just sounds weird, right? It doesn't sound like Craig Smith at all. They're not using the technique. And I can't use these crappy sticks, it's teeny yeast. So uh, I'm gonna get Craig Smith's favorite stick, the Ralph Hardy means. Um, and I'm gonna break down the Bach reports. So, uh, yeah, so Craig Smith would say when you're playing Bach reports, you gotta like, first of all, you gotta use this technique. Uh, explained earlier, the rocker, rock star, no hands, just a thumb. So, uh, we're gonna break this down. First, you need to know the base of the Bach report. It's based off a rhythmic called the paradiddle, uh, which is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Everybody knows that, so it's like something like this. Okay, a little tempo. Alright, now this is where it gets a little intense. We're going to start adding a diddle, which is two notes, on the first partial, flam on the third one, and uh, uh, another diddle on the last partial. So you're going to get something that sounds like this. Uh, using the crack stick technique, here's the Bach report. A little bit faster. I'm going to break it down a little slower for those guys that just can't catch my hands, you know? Just make sure when you're playing these that you're keeping the nice tight bases. Get all those get all those notes in on those on those deals. Make sure those flams are nice and open. And just play those Bach reports like you know how to play them. Uh, I'm Steve, and <laughs> thank you for watching the video.